Hello, and welcome to the Cameron and Tia Show. I'm Tia, and I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we give you photography tips, business tips, and everything in between. Today, we are talking about shooting, specifically, how to get an epic champagne pop photo. So, first and foremost, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes today, and I'm gonna show you an insane champagne pop, and this is how we do it. Now, it might be a little contradictory from what you've heard. A lot of people say, before you take the wrapping off, before you take the cage off, shake it. And shake it like crazy, get all the bubbles built up. I think that's fine, but A, you can't control it. You can't really even control when the cork is popping out then. Sometimes it'll just pop out sporadically, and that could be like when your couple's not expecting it. It could be really messy. It could even injure someone. And B, I don't love the way that bubbles come out then. They typically kind of foam and just kind of spitter spatter out here and there. And it just doesn't look as visually appealing. So this is what we do instead. We have our couple not shake it. Do not shake it. If you've been on a party bus, take the bottle that did not roll down the aisle. Take the bottle that was just standing upright. Bring it out. You're going to take the foil off remove the cage, and then we get our couple in position. This is just in case, but when we get our couple in position, we actually tell them to just take the cork out. Literally just pull it out. You don't need to pop it. That doesn't even need to be the photo because you're not gonna get it like midair or something. If you do, pretty epic, but we're not going for that. We're going for the epic spraying photo. We then tell whoever is holding onto the bottle to put their thumb over the opening like a hose. You know when you were a kid and you put it over the hose so that you could spray people or like spray down your porch? Maybe you even do that now. We're gonna have them do that. The partner, if it's a couple shoot, if it's a wedding shoot, we're gonna have the partner just wrap around them. Maybe wrap around like their arms, but kind of loose, but we're gonna tell them to snuggle close to them. Their first reaction is gonna be leaning away and that doesn't make the best photos. We want them to be snuggly. So then the person who has the bottle, they're gonna hold it like a hose and we're gonna tell them to spray it up and down, up and down, and that's actually what's gonna get it going. From there, it's going to shake and it's gonna explode. It's gonna have the same carbonation effect as if it was like pre-shaken, but now it's going to be able to be being shaken, whoa, there's a lot of shaking and shaking in here. Um, it's gonna allow it to be shaken and coming out at the same time. So they have the little opening. We tell them to shake it up and down and we tell them to make an arc over the camera. So you're the camera right now. I'm gonna arc it over there. You might get sprayed a little bit, so do use your discretion whether you want this or not. Honestly, I love it. I think champagne smells amazing, and so I do not mind whatsoever. You're not gonna get soaked. It's only a bottle of champagne and all of it's not gonna land on you. So we tell them to shake it over our heads and it gets this beautiful arc where you get like a lot of different angles of them, a lot of variety, especially if there's like a wedding party with them, and it gets the angle where it's like coming at you a bit, which can be really fun. It also gets the champagne kind of spraying everywhere in one photo, you know, because everything hasn't dropped yet, versus just spraying in one place and it's just like dropping and like that area is kind of soaked in the background. This gets it like, imagine a full wedding party in front of those guys, in front of those guys, in front of those guys, and it looks super sick. So let's go behind the scenes. Let's show how this is done. Okay, I'm ready and you can like exhaust the full thing, like keep going for a while and kind of arc, yeah. Whoa, whoa. And like arc over me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. 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 That's really good. Nice. Yeah, take a drink. hope this was a helpful tip for you to get those epic champagne photos. If you want to share, we would love to see them. Tag us on Instagram at Cameron and Tia. And if you love videos like this, please subscribe. It helps us so much. And we are so thankful for you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.